Today in Southern Labor History, November 21st, we remember the 1919 Bogalusa Massacre. In Bogalusa, Louisiana, the Great Southern Lumber Company owned everything. Houses, stores, utilities, schools, and parks. The general manager of the mill was also the mayor, and the police even worked in lockstep with the mill. The mill even kept a private armed militia. Workers at the Great Southern Lumber Company faced low wages and outright racial violence from the company. Following the lead of mill worker and organizer Saul Dawkins, mill workers from across races organized together to create a multiracial union. But due to Louisiana's segregationist labor laws, workers were forced to create separate locals for white workers, black workers, and so on. The mill workers were steadily building power, but then, on November 21st, the company sent armed thugs to Saul's house to murder him and his family. Saul and his family survived the night, and the next morning, black and white workers marched through the center of town showing their resolve and solidarity. Determined to eliminate interracial solidarity, the Great Southern Lumber Company responded violently to workers organizing, with armed violence, eviction, arson, and even torture. What was true in 1919 is still true today. Racial solidarity threatens unchecked corporate power. When we are divided, we simply don't have the power to win the respect, protections, and dignity that every worker deserves.